don't eat in the morning. And I work out in the morning. Or the first time, or first thing when I wake up, which is not always the morning. It could be noon. Could be afternoon. Depending on how late I sleep. This is a carb loader. Um, I just got this from one of the gyms. It's called Raging Full Designer Athlete Super Carb Total Workout Dominator. I've got my 24K pre-workout. Buy one, get one free. Use code AFTERMATH from GammaLabs.net. 24K pre-workout. I think uh, 350 milligrams of caffeine. So this is strong. This is a really strong pre-workout. So if you guys want something really strong, feel like whatever you're taking right now is not working for you, um, 24K is something I definitely suggest for you guys uh, right here. Beautiful. So like for two bottles, it's like 60 bucks or whatever. So you get two months worth for 60 bucks. Also take creatine HDL. Been taking this for years. Literally for years. Like ever since I got started in fitness, I've been taking this product. Keep of that. Uh, got some G Fuel hydration as well. If you want to replace Gatorade or anything like that, G Fuel doesn't only have an energy drink. We have this hydration drink um, with, a with a little bit of caffeine in it, but um, because G I mean uh, Gatorade has a lot of sugar and stuff. So what we do is we pretty much cancel out all the sugary products. We pretty much make all the products you like without sugar. So. For competitive athletes, um, uh, for, for when I mean competitive, I mean like physique athletes or bikini who are trying to stay away from sugar and stuff like that. G Fuel is a great way to go for you. And uh, that's pretty much it right now. And for like recovery, I'll take Celtech, a creatine formula. These are products that I've been taking. And once again, I don't work for these people besides G Fuel. And then G Fuel is not like a muscle building company. Um, they're like more like energy focused strength. I mean, not strength. Uh, actually, this pre-workout um, is strength and endurance. But uh, I've been taking Celtech for years. I've been taking the uh, Concrete for years. I've been taking, and I, I, st I like to stick to the same products I've been taking for the longest because things change up over the years. And I just stick to what I know, pretty much. Um, the older I get, the less products I take. Uh, I remember when I was younger, I used to take like five different types of creatine. I used to take like creatine, uh, creaclin, HCL, monohydrate, and, 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 and then I'll take like, I don't know, but yeah. Uh, I've told you guys about Human Pro before. It's like a BCA's protein. It's pretty much like the protein. But if you, if you didn't know, the protein broken down, you get BCA's pretty much, which recovery formula um, that I take. So if I don't feel like eating, like now, I'll put this into my first, um, into my pre-workout and stuff, just to get like my boost going with the carbs and stuff. And last but not least, a pump formula, which I really don't need because the G Fuel handles it, but I like to add extra stuff. So I'll take care of focus, pump, carbs, uh, recovery, and uh, just, you know, a little boost, creatine. That's all I need. So there's like four products. Four products right there, and you're set. We at Zoo Culture right now. My headphones are completely dead, so they're in the front charging. Shout out to gyms that keep charges on deck. All right. So my uh, my headphones are being charged right now. I'm about to get set up on bench. Yo, it's dead in here, man. It's pretty dead. I was wondering how it looks when it's dead in here. It's pretty it's nice. You know what I'm saying? I feel like like if I was to have my own personal gym, this would like be the size. This would be like my own personal. Jim, feel me? So, let's get started. I'm gonna wait for 
for the uh, other power rack, not power rack, for the other bench rack, uh, just so I can level my lift off, because right now I'm having to lift off from right here. It's pretty much a half rep of my bench instead of being a little bit more extended, so it's making it a little bit harder for me. So I'm gonna wait for that last rack down there, uh, and hopefully my headphones can be charged like this so I can get a little bit tuned in. Uh, like gym, gym music, it's like, it's, it's, it's cool here, but I like to be like zoned out. Um, and certain like tones, tones and music, it's not really fitting my, uh, my mood right now, so I think I'm in a slow jam mood today. So yeah. It's not feeling too easy today. Uh, it's a lot of time, a lot of energy with the bench set up and stuff. So that one rep of 405 felt pretty, uh, pretty intense. We're gonna go up to 455 for a rep. Um, and once I get a good grasp of that, I'm gonna check my headphones. Once I get a good grasp of that, that's when I'll know. All right, I'm gonna go for the big, for some big numbers today. Actually, we'll go. We'll go. So 55, 65, we'll go 75. One, two, three. on the bar, I mean 525 on the bar right now. It's been a minute. No food this morning. My car drink. And good old faith. So let's get focused. Talking. My crazy ass is actually gonna try to do this one more time. I'm gonna bring out the smelling salts for this one. I should have brought it out that time, but let's see if I can tap into this shit. Let's go. Walk it up. Up, 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 up! Ah! Ah! All right, well, mission accomplished. Uh, that was five. five. I believe, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Boom. Got 495, 495, plus 20. These are 10s. These are 10s right here, so 20. So we got 415. So five, 420, and a 10, 420, I mean 525, we got 525, 525 right here, 545, a 10, and then a, uh, a 5 on both sides. I'm pretty fucking stoked, good way to end the year, now tomorrow is 800 lift deadlift, 800 pound deadlift tomorrow, that's the goal. So we end in the year right, all right? I don't give a fuck about squats. Russell, you got all that, bro. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.